over the past couple years. Researchers with the University of Utah studied over 600 locations in the park to get a better understanding of something called the magma chamber, which is basically a heat engine that drives everything we see on the surface at the park like geysers. We're not talking about a giant cauldron of boiling, melted rock. A magma chamber is really a mixture of solid, liquid, and gas said Michael Poland, the scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcanoes Observatory. Michael Poland said for a long time, we did not know how all that material was distributed, specifically the melt or semi-liquid material. Maybe it's evenly spaced throughout this large volume. It could be concentrated in a few pods here or there. We don't really know. With the better imaging, they found that the semi-liquid material is in horizontal layers and that there is likely more of it. Michael Poland added that what they found so far does not show Yellowstone volcanoes is any closer to a huge eruption. The undergrounds is still mostly solid and it would take something huge for that to change. So that's something that would be accompanied by extraordinary changes that we'd see at the surface in terms of earthquake activity and grounds deformations and thermal and geysers emissions, gas emissions, things like that, he said.